Now, let's talk superannuation. It's compulsory. It's a compulsory system, and you could be losing hundreds of thousands of dollars by the time you retire. There was a quite a damning report yesterday from the Productivity Commission that shows there are exorbitant fees uh, that are being paid. There's 10 million duplicate accounts, and that's what's leaving us in the lurch, potentially, in retirement. Joining me now is Assistant Minister to the Treasurer, Michael Sukho. He joins me now from Canberra. Let's delve right into the super superannuation uh, system. Now, it needs to be fixed. Should there be a cap on increasing contributions, it's just under 10% at the moment, until it is fixed, until we can see a bit of a turnaround here? Well, Laura, I think the, you know, the preference uh, here is that we make uh, improvements to the super system. And I mean, a lot of these improvements uh, or issues identified by the Productivity Commission and improvements identified by uh, the Minister for Revenue and Financial Services are things that I think most Australians uh, would, you know, nod their head at uh, as far as uh, trying to proactively reduce the number of duplicate, duplicate accounts, mm. uh, trying to make sure that we don't have fees inappropriately eroding people's balances, particularly those who are in and out of the workforce who have, might have small balances, uh, making sure that any insurance products that... Uh, people are paying for through superannuation are appropriate for them. Uh, we don't want people, in a sense, paying for insurance that's not going to be any use to them. So I think all of these things should be pretty uncontroversial. And, you know, if the parliament can do its job and get on with supporting the minister and making these changes, then uh, I don't think you need to get down to the track of making any drastic uh, kind of calls for uh, reducing or putting a halt to any planned increases uh, in the superannuation guarantee. So yeah, let's, sure, you know, let's address the issues ship. that this are This is a big ship to turn around, you'd agree, Minister. And some of the issues raised in the Productivity Commission report were, were pretty surprising. The duplicate accounts, you know, some people do need to take personal responsibility, I think, in all of this. But when you talk about the fees and potentially having this panel, how could you justify an increase in compulsory superannuation contributions to a potentially 12% on 16% if billions of dollars are essentially just being chewed up in fees? Well, Laura, I mean, it's a pretty decent argument you make. I suppose my point is um, I don't think uh, any of these issues should be beyond our ability to quickly deal with them and quickly address them. Uh, yes, you're right. We shouldn't abrogate people's personal responsibility, but at the same time, we should do everything we can to ensure that we're encouraging the fundamental point, which is, uh, which the Minister made, I think, very eloquently in question time yesterday. It's the member's money. It's your money. It's not yeah. the superannuation uh, fund's money. It's not union's money. It's uh, not politicians' money. It's not government's money. It's your money. And we should be making sure that to the greatest extent possible, we help people uh, ensure that it's working for them, that it's tailored for them. Uh, the ministers also put proposals on the table as far as ensuring that the composition of boards uh, have independent directors, that people who are there uh, entrusted with millions of Australians' money working for them. Yep. Uh, I think these are all very sensible changes and, um, you know, I don't think we need to, uh, on one hand, say that uh, uh, the entire system is rotten. Uh, there are some systemic and serious issues that we sh should all address and I'm very surprised that the Labor Party is so hesitant to support us in what I think are absolute no-brainers. Well, let's look at the, some of the, the recommendations here. Uh, first of all, the PC report suggested that with default contributions, they should be potentially going to the top 10 performing um, bodies, the top 10 performing superannuation uh, bodies, as selected by a panel. Is, do you like that idea? Is this a, something that the government's running with? Well, the government will, will outline its uh, response to each of the recommendations. I, I suppose what I can say is I can understand what the issue they're trying to address there, and that is that right now you have about a million Australians who don't get a choice, in essence, on who their fund is and that it, a lot of their money ends up going to underperforming funds that are doing the work of other people and not the members. And so having a mechanism where you say, well, uh, here are a group of funds designated... Yeah. Uh, because we know they're high performing, we know they've got good corporate governance, uh, we know that they're working in the best interests of their members. This what's is where the risk here, uh, default is it, money is it, should is go. Is there a risk that it could actually dampen competition? 
Well, Laura, look, these are all things that will be considered um, by the government, but I wouldn't have thought that... I would have thought it increases competition in the sense that uh, it'll drive funds to improve their performance because I suspect there'll be a great incentive to be one of the default funds and the way to become a default fund will be to outperform your competitors. So I suspect, um, I suspect that it probably in some ways will drive more competition and drive better performance mm. because there'll be a great incentive for those funds to, uh, to outshine their competitors Ooh. and be one of the default Ooh. funds. Well, Minister, you're putting, you're putting pressure here on Labor to come to the party on uh, some kind of bipartisanship to fixing what is wrong with the superannuation system. But on a number of points, you've said to us today that the government is still looking at uh, some of these recommendations. So when will you have a final view on all of this? When will you start to move forward? Well, Laura, there's a range of things that are already before the parliament. So, you know, forgive me if I'm speaking... Uh, both at this, the one time. I mean, we're, we're speaking in broad terms. There are a range of measures before the parliament right now, uh, including uh, independent directors on boards who are there to, who are entrusted with our money, uh, default super. There's a range of things already in front of the parliament. And of course, there's a whole lot of issues that were raised by the Productivity Commission in their draft report uh, that, uh, again, uh, I mean, I don't want to preempt the government's views, but I think a lot of them are pretty straightforward. And in your opening remarks, I mean, uh, you just, I, I think your viewers, Laura, probably couldn't help but just nod their head that in the end, uh, those recommendations by the Productivity Commission, whilst you know, we await what the government's formal response yeah. will be, I think, I think all of us would say are absolute no-brainers. And the Labor Party's a bit conflicted here. Uh, due to their relationship with some of the industry of super funds. But again, as the Minister said yesterday in question time, uh, we shouldn't be here fighting for the interests of industry super or well, retail just on super. Industry super uh, though, it should be the interest the, of members. Yeah, but the Productivity Commission did say in its report yesterday that industry funds has, have consistently outperformed retail funds. Why is that, do you think? Well, uh, look, Laura, others can comment on it uh, who have looked at it much more closely than me. I, I think uh, we commend uh, every fund, including industry super funds, who are doing the right thing. And uh, for those who are outperforming, uh, and I don't think you can say every industry super fund is outperforming, but for those that are, uh, I don't think they'll have anything to fear from changes. I mean, if you're one of the high performers, uh, you're probably much more likely to be uh, one of those funds who will thrive in an increased competition environment. So, uh, you know, I know a lot of people involved in industry super and uh, those who are performing well uh, have got nothing to fear from uh, any changes either before the parliament at the moment or that might come down the track. I think there are some, though, who uh, have some serious corporate governance and other issues that are probably a little bit nervous and uh, I suspect okay. are, uh, are putting a bit of pressure on the Labor Party.